The shocking truth about vacuum bombs, the ultimate devastating weapon, vacuum bombs, also known as aerosol bombs or thermobaric weapons, are some of the most terrifying and powerful explosives known to mankind. These weapons create massive explosions that not only destroy buildings and land, but also leave a haunting impact on human life. Let's dive into the chilling details of how they work and why they are so controversial. What is a vacuum bomb? The name vacuum bomb comes from the Greek words for heat and pressure, which perfectly describe how this weapon operates. Unlike conventional explosives that mix fuel and oxidizer, vacuum bombs are almost pure fuel. They rely on oxygen from the surrounding air to ignite. Making them unique and deadly, here's how they work. 1. The first stage. The bomb releases a cloud of highly flammable material, such as fuel or fine metal particles like aluminum, into the air. 2. The second stage. The material is ignited, creating a massive fireball and an intense shockwave. This process causes an explosion so powerful that it can vaporize a human body. Yes, vaporize. How do they cause such destruction? The shockwave from a vacuum bomb lasts much longer than a conventional bomb's explosion. Imagine being caught in an explosion so hot and so intense that it crushes your organs, collapses your lungs, and ruptures your eardrums. The Guardian reports that these blasts can kill by both suffocation and crushing internal injuries. Think of it like a dust explosion in coal mines or powder factories. When flammable particles mix with air and ignite, the resulting blast is catastrophic. Similarly, vacuum bombs use this principle, but on a terrifying scale. Why are they so dangerous? Vacuum bombs don't just destroy structures, they devastate human life. The heat and pressure of the explosion make breathing impossible, killing victims near the blast by suffocation. For those further away, the pressure can still cause Collapsed lungs, ruptured organs, crushed bones, internal bleeding. Human Rights Watch once cited a CIA study explaining that people close to the blast center are completely vaporized, while those further away suffer invisible injuries, such as blindness and collapsed eardrums, a weapon of controversy. Despite their devastating impact, vacuum bombs are not banned outright. In 1976, the United Nations described thermobaric weapons as inhumane but the resolution wasn't binding. This means their use in modern warfare continues to raise alarm worldwide. Modern advancements in technology have made these bombs even more precise and powerful. Intelligent systems now control how fuel is dispersed, making it possible to direct explosions for maximum destruction. Why the world should care, the sheer destructive power of vacuum bombs has sparked global concern. While not classified as chemical weapons, their effects can be equally horrifying. Their ability to devastate large areas, destroy cities, and cause unimaginable human suffering makes them a topic of heated debate in the international community. Countries and organizations are increasingly calling for their ban, especially in urban warfare, where civilian lives are at the greatest risk. Vacuum bombs are a chilling reminder of the devastating capabilities of modern warfare. What do you think? Should these weapons be banned? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more thought-provoking content on technology, history, and science.